What's up blogging heroes? Welcome back to another awesome blogging tutorial where I'm going to guide you through how to use the brand new domain explorer feature that just hit the internet thanks to lowfruits.io. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can extract all of your competition's keywords and use them to create wonderful blogs that are going to get your site loads of traffic and hopefully be a winner winner chicken dinner. And by the way, Low Fruits, thanks for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. But without further ado, let's dive in to the video. I will note that the following information and tutorial will be in relation to anyone who signs up as a monthly or yearly subscriber to the brand new Domain Explorer feature that they've introduced to lowfruits.io. In terms of pricing, I think the pricing is really, really fair. For someone that's just wanting to get started and just get yourself a one month package so you can use this Domain Explorer, so you can analyze your competition across all your websites, and so you can scrape all of that best keywords, this would probably be the best one just to get you started. Now, if you're looking for a more professional package, maybe go for the premium, go for whichever suits you best. I put a link in the description and the comment section for you to check that out. When you go ahead and you start using this, head over to the domain explorer option, which is on the left hand side. Then we are left with a search topic. So now we have to search for what specific topic we are making this about. We need to find potential competition in this industry so that's what i'm going to do right here for this instance i'm actually going to use one of my case domain sites which is penbeast.com this is a site all to do with pens so let's go ahead and type in pens this is now going to just load in a huge list of competition sites who are writing about pens and it prioritizes any specific keyword that you have wrote in here so say for example i wrote pens and then I wrote ball point. You would see then it would, and then I were to write fountain in, you would see it would first focus on pens being first, then fountain, et cetera, et cetera. And that's how it would work. In this instance, I'm just gonna start with pens. Brilliant. Now I want to make sure that I'm filtering this to get the best options for potentially the best opportunities for me. So I'm gonna check domain authority. I'm going to set this to a maximum of 15 because I don't want sites which have crazy high domain authority because using the same keywords as someone who's already got really high domain authority, it's just a recipe for disaster. You're going to end up on page three, four, five, six, one million, whatever. There's no point going for something too high. Go for something a little bit lower within your grasp as a brand new site. Brilliant. Excellent. So that's already started to, to work in our favor. For traffic, you can either set a min or max. I'm going to go for a minimum of 1,000 because I want to get at least 1,000 you know, clicks per month, ideally. So let's try and get a bit of traffic on this. Brilliant. This is really, really good. For monetization, I'm just going to actually leave that off. I'm not worried too much about monetization. Ad networks, I'm not going to concern myself too much with the ad networks. You can do if you want to. But in terms of age, I am going to select less than three years old. I think anything up to three years old hasn't really more than likely developed a huge amount of backlinks. So the domain authority isn't going to be as high as some of my competition who've been around for donkey's years. Okay, great. So this has now produced a brilliant list of search results for us to look into. From here, we can simply add this to a list where we can scrape across some of their best key words. There's one added. There's two. There's three. I'm going to add 10. Brilliant. Okay, I've added those. And now it's time to actually look at the extraction because we've added that to our extract list. And as you can see, we've got all of these here that we've been able to extract. So now we're going to extract these guys to find out all the best keywords that they've got. So it's worth noting there are two potential options that you can click here now. You can either click on rankings, which will just look for their top ranking keywords on each of their sites. Or you can look at sitemap, which will then show you the whole structure of their URLs across their site. This can help you figure out a whole content schedule for yourself and actually figure out what type of content you should be structuring your site around. This is quite a useful thing, in my opinion. 
However, in this instance, I'm going to be focusing more on the keywords because from penbeast.com, I already have a site structure in mind and I'm really just looking for keywords that I can write topics about. So let's go to ranking and click extract. Okay, now we just wait for it to look through each of these to get all of the wonderful keywords for us prepared. Well, hey, it's done it. It's completed. Let me just delete my old searches. So let's delete these two and these two because they're old ones to do with another site altogether. And here we go. We have 3,961. That is far too many keywords, my friends. We are going to have to uh, focus on the top 10 of each of these, though it is worth noting you can focus on the top 100. So it's entirely up to you. For me, I'm going to go for top 10 so that I can save on some of my credits here. OK, great. So this is actually analyzing keywords for me right now. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, my gosh, there is so much here. This is insane. So from here, we can go ahead and we can import these. Now, before I go ahead and click import, I know there are some words here that are just completely irrelevant for what it is I want to write content about. I'm pretty sure I saw the word dinosaur here. I'm pretty sure I saw, saw the word salary here. So I know that that's got nothing to do with pens. So therefore, before I click import and analyze all of those potential keywords, I'm going to untick analyze and then it's going to allow me to actually tick through and check each of these keywords to make sure the ones that I actually want to analyze. Now, it is worth noting that I do want to just double check that we get some of these extra queries in here because it is just useful information for you to add in. OK, now I've got analyze unticked. OK, so now I've got analyze unticked. I'm going to go ahead and click import. OK, now that is doing the work of actually potentially analyzing the right ones. And I'm going to look through this to actually find all the specific key data that's going to be useful to me. So now we're actually here. I think it's really important for me to actually know what type of volume for these keywords we're looking at. So I'm going to go ahead and click fetch volume. Fantastic. So now we had pressed the fetch volume. This has gone ahead and generated all the search volume for these related keywords. Now, what I can actually do is click on topics and I can filter out any random topic that just isn't relevant to what it is we're looking for. Now, I can see there's quite a few here that are just completely random, such as mortgage. I'm pretty sure we aren't interested in the keyword mortgage when it comes to pens. So I'm going to go ahead and hide any that just aren't as relevant to us. Now, going off this, we can go ahead and we can click on questions at the top, which will actually show us potential questions that we can ask in these keywords to create topics for us to write about. So let's go ahead and click on questions. I love like using questions for keywords when I'm writing across all of my sites. And the reason for that is where there is a question, there is an opportunity of value that you can give your audience. And the more value you can give your audience, especially if it's original value, not just value that you've scraped off the uh, the Internet, but something original that you can add that isn't already out there. This tells Google that you are knowledgeable in your area and it gives a opportunity for other people to link to your site which will create great backlinks, winner, winner, chicken dinner. I like to focus on question keywords because this is going to give us the best opportunity to get the best keywords out there. OK, so we have 119 keywords for this. I'm now going to just search pens. This is bringing up 16 keywords. Now, I want to select one of the other topics, which will potentially give me a little bit extra in terms of keywords to get the best type of keywords. So let's have a look here. I'm going to select fountain and right here, how to store fountain pens, store fountain pens up or down. Are fountain pens good? Do you store fountain pens up or down? Are fountain pens hard to use? There are some brilliant keywords right there. If we then look into right, we got two. And as I say, it's not a huge amount, but we are getting some actual good keywords here. No messing about. Now, 119 keywords, I'm pretty comfortable to actually analyze all of those keywords. Now, I'm going to bulk select every single keyword here because there's only 119 for this particular niche. So I'm going to go ahead 
and bulk select. So to do that, I just click this button here and I click all pages. Then I go down to where it says SERP extractor and I it's one credit per keyword. So 119 credits effectively. This is now going to find the opportunities for us that we should be writing about. And here is a list of brilliant keywords. Some aren't quite relevant. We haven't managed to get them out because they've got things like ink in and it's highly relevant to pens. But nevertheless, we have got some brilliant, brilliant keywords here that we can write about in this particular niche. This is something I can work on and I can see there's some excellent, excellent opportunities here for writing about these particular topics. This will allow me to create the best content structure for my site so I can get to work and start getting that search volume in, working on that domain authority, and hopefully maybe even get some valuable backlinks from my research and making sure there's original value on the internet. We only used 119 credits to do this report. We could go one step further and look into absolutely everything across all of our sites with just one month subscription, let alone a whole year. So what I'm trying to say to you, my friends, is this is massively worth your time. I use this absolutely loads and I think this will really, really help you as well. I really hope this video helped you. If it did, hit that like button, click subscribe. I bring awesome blogging content and SEO content when it is possible. I am going to be doing some giveaways soon where I'll be giving away one of my websites and I'm hoping to actually take this into giving away a few more websites in the future as well. So if that's something that is of interest to you, then be sure to subscribe and stick around for future videos. This is Theo Ramwell and I hope you awesome blogging heroes have a fantastic day. Catch you in the next video. Check out lowfruits.io.